second dimension is uh, contemplation. And that which is the key to contemplation is encountering the mystery. We, we, we demystify much, much of our religious language by ordinaryizing it, ordinaryizing it. Uh, but this is such, such a powerful dimension. We do not know how to do it very well. And the other two-thirds of the world knows quite a bit more than we do from the West. There needs to be a transitional language, and we, we kind of need to have an encyclopedia, a spiritual encyclopedia, that helps to make the transition from, the, quote, this world to the, quote, the other world. Mystery is is there in everything, how to ferret it out, and to, and to have it illuminate your life, is just great, absolutely human. I like to look at stars. And as you watch the stars, they mutate. And rather than being out here, some trillion light years away, they, they become here. Yeah. I and that star are one. It's part of my universe. I'm related to it. Uh, and just imagine I, I contain the Earth galaxy. I contain the, the galactic world in here. That's who I am. have that greatness to me. And I do. And if you forget that, or you don't operate on it, you just want to do good little things, rather than embrace this incredibly majestic, glorious, fearsome, awesome universe. I am the universe. Now that, that, that is language that is real to me. It's a happening.